All right, we're live. Top around Almondville night. See who all is going to jump in here. Thursday night or t Monday night, about nine o'clock Eastern time. Just looking at filling some copper rounds in the album. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's getting ready for the big holiday. What, 23 more days? It'll be Christmas Day. Just a little over three weeks. It'll be on top of us. Somebody jumped in. So when there's a person. Hey, there's my buddy Scott Jarvie. Michael M. Two of my best buddies. Thanks for coming in. Oh, I understand the study. I got to get and do some paperwork myself right now, but I thought I'd. Got my phone on here so I can look at the chat at the same time. But I'm going to try to um, just fill a few of these rounds in and take me a break, and then I got to get back to work also. But uh, yeah, I remember that stuff. I remember those exam days. So we got, let's see if that'll focus on there. we go. Hey, SRIP63. Thank you, it's good, sir. Appreciate that. So we'll, uh, we'll grab a copper round right off the bat here. So here's a mercury round. And here's the reverse. Three nines, fine. That's a better view of it. A lot of these have that same reverse. I don't know if that's a Golden State Mint or what that might be. I know that these came from JM Bullion. I'm just going to handle the edges. I don't have any gloves on today. Some of these are marked up a bit from JM, so I'm not going to get too worried about it. But we'll just show you each one and slide them in the old album here. So we got another big bunch of sleeves here to work to. Hey, Christopher W., good to see you in here, my friend. We're just putting some copper rounds in here. I'm only going to put one of these. This is a buffalo round. I've got two of them I ordered, so I might have to give one of these away at one of my live streams when I get a whole bunch of people in there. I like my like my copper. And these got a really nice proof finish on them, too. It's like a mirror. Again, I'm, I'm trying to just, well, soft tablecloth table but I'm trying just to touch the edges so I don't thumbprint them but you can see the mirror look to them so we'll put that one in I'll put three in there first before I slide the sleeve on top of them straighten that up just touch the rim of it so four people in here and three likes if y'all can mash the like that'd be great see what this next one is Oh, that's a buffalo round too, so I'm going to set that to the side. Don't want to put that in there yet. So here's one of my favorites out of these. This is, uh, I forget what the name they call it, but it's obviously the Bald Eagle. USA Bald Eagle, and it's got good look to it. It's not scratched up, not marred up. And it's got the USA on the reverse with the spread eagle. The three nines, fine copper. So that one turned out pretty good. So I'm going to throw that one in there. And this is uh, one of the uh, Whitman um, Dansko. A Dansko Silver Round album. And they're, they're fitting just fine. Even though they're copper in there. And this one is a Rudolph Round. So Merry Christmas. Got Rudolph. There's some stuff on it. I don't know what it is. But it came spotted. Which is unfortunate. There's the Rudolph round. And it's got a reverse snowflake. And again, these are three nines fine copper. So there's Rudolph's. I'm sure these will start to tone up in these albums too. And we'll just lay them each in. I'll put, let me go ahead and put a sleeve in there on that one. Next we'll put in this uh, P Stoller after that. Hey, Maria. Good to see you. Five people in the house, four likes. 
Y'all can mash that like button, be great. But we're just putting some Copper Rounds Maria in the Dansko album. And we got some new Christmas rounds. We did Rudolph already. And we got some other Christmas rounds. I ordered some for the holidays. So look at the mirror finish on that, guys. I can do a face reveal. That's a good looking coin. 1921 piece. Key date. Wish that was silver. He worth some money, wouldn't it? Three nines, fine copper. Wish it was a real mint state piece dollar. I'd be ecstatic. Be some hundreds of dollars there. Imagine being able to go back in time in 1921 and go buy some of those things. Or pick them up and say, buy them. Just go to the bank and say, hey, I need a, a dollar, some silver dollars. Now, this one got scratched up. See the big scratch in the field? So on both sides, there's some scratches there. So this is, I was pretty disappointed in this from JM Bullion. I'm, I'm not going to order from them again unless it's a phone order. And I'm going to request they put them individually in flips instead of these tubes. Even though they put peanuts and they had them secure, either their quality control's got, gone broke or whatever, but I'm not happy with the uh, look at the scratches on that thing. I mean, you should, I mean, even though you're only paying a dollar fifty-five for a copper round, it shouldn't be coming in beat up. And see, my last order had two beat up ones too, with the snowflakes the reverse. But I'm really disappointed that they aren't in that good of shape. But I placed an order with Atmex, so I'll see how much better. Hey, Jessica. I placed an order with Atmex last night. So I'm going to see if their copper rounds are in better condition. Because I got some from Dis Me Coin out of California. And they were in great shape. And none of them marked or marred up at all. So there you go. That's like the trade dollar. And that's the trade dollar. Yeah, I'm not much on. I mean, I've got some foreign silver for whatever reason i'm not just huge on it for some reason not just real big but I, I think they're nice and everything don't get me wrong but uh never bought a whole lot but this is pretty neat it's got that same reverse i don't know if that's golden state mint with that reverse anybody might know that does these collectible rounds but i think this is a nice inexpensive way to spend twenty dollars and some fun and fill up an album. You know, I enjoy it. And I like the beauty of them. I see them as little works of art. Yeah, I like all the U.S. stuff, yep. Gotcha. So this was a used Dansko, so there's a couple little marks on the sleeve from where another coins were in there once upon a time, but I think it's perfect for just copper rounds. And let me show you this. I got this with the order, too. I bought this separate. But this is a Victory in the Pacific, 1945. It's got the eagle. It's got the American flag. It's got some proof reverse. So you can see the cameo is the reverse on there. And, of course, it's got JM Bullion and their phone number where I ordered it from. But look at this. This is a half ounce. It actually is a coin. Let's see if I can focus on it. Well, let me or not. I can get my hand behind it. Let me try that. If I put my hand behind it. There we go. That's better. So look at this. And there's the focus. So this is Australia. Queen Elizabeth II. 50 cents. So this is a half dollar 50 cent piece. But this is a half ounce of four nines fine silver. Four nines fine silver. And it's not marked up at all. And it's, again, a reverse proof. So the Queen Elizabeth is shiny, and the fields are uh, cameoed. So it's 2016, 50-cent piece. And I really like the half ounce. And get this. I got this for $9.19. It was on sale. And I saw it. I wasn't in there to buy silver. I was just in there to buy these copper rounds. And you know, I, I'm one of those guys I can't pass up on a really good deal. And I really like the coin. I like my American flags. I'm a patriot. 
I like the eagle. And it's not a coin I have. I like this as fractional silver. So all the way, they might still have it on there for $9.19. But you figure, you know, what's spot, uh, silver spot $17. So I got it for, you know, a uh, dollar over spot for, you know, uh, well, an eight, eight and eight, 16. Uh, paid nine for it. Nine and nine's 18. So 50 cents over spot, a you know, dollar over spot on a half ounce. Well, eight eight would be eight fifty, right? If it's seventeen dollars, eight fifty and eight fifty seven dollars. So I got it for not even a dollar over spot. It's about sixty nine cents over spot. That's exactly what it is. Nine dollars and nineteen cents will be sixty nine cents over spot at seventeen dollar spot. So that's something to so JM Bullion for that at least. If you want to look at jmbullion.com, see if that's still listed. That's probably one of the better deals. I mean, and you can buy bullion. And you know their shipping cost? I will say this about Jay and Bullion. They don't charge 9 or $10 for shipping. It's $3.99. Order all these. They came in a box. And I'll do it. I've already made an unboxing video, but I haven't put it up yet. Hey, Mike Wolf. Mike Wolf, Yukon Cornelius. Got some new people in here. I got 10 people in the chat. Oh, somebody just left. Took it back down to nine. Y'all mash that like button if you don't. Milo's downstairs. He had a upset stomach today. He threw up twice in the house. My wife was here, but he's feeling better and he's eating now and everything. I don't know if he got outside and ate some crap or what the might, case might be. Um, but Mrs. ECP is downstairs. Of course, uh, I'm up here. I'm glad you got the half ounce polar bear, Scott says. I've got an actual either a two ounce or ounce and a half polar bear. Canadian. So, yeah, let's grab these other three rounds here. I want you to see this. And I got a question for everybody on this one. And I have to go back here and get my safe, but this is a replica. It's supposed to be of a $2 bill. But I know, I know George Washington's on the $1 silver certificate. I didn't think George Washington was on the $2 silver certificate. Was he? I thought it was somebody else. I thought it was like... Uh, Andrew Jackson or somebody like that. I don't know. I'm going to go get my $2 silver certificates out and take a look at it because I don't remember the $2 silver certificate being George Washington. Maybe it was. Anybody clue me in on that? In the 1800s he was. So it's an older, much older $2 bill. Christopher W., you're the man. See, and I don't think I have any Washington $2 bills. So here's the reverse on it. I'm glad you told me that. So this is a beautiful piece. Silver certificate of the $2 bill. So the 1800s one. Thank you, Christopher W. I appreciate that, my friend. Eight people in the house and eight likes. If you haven't matched that like, please do so. We had 10 in the house a minute ago, so we'll put that one in there. And we'll grab another one. So in the 1800s, it was. And I've got the best one saved for last. I say best one, different one. And I'll show you guys. I don't know if you've seen it yet. I like this one. This is the Standing Liberty. This one's not marked up either, which is really nice. So this one's great. In God we trust. I don't know why that you in trust looks more like a V. I like the liberty on this one. I like the shield. It's always nice having those pretty ladies, right? And this, this might be, is that the Golden State Mint symbol? I don't know. Or AVDP. What's ADVP stand for? Guys, I'm just into collecting copper rounds for the first time so I'm trying to figure everything out this is like my third audition on these try not to touch the edges Let's see if I can hold it this way I'm just grab the edge a little bit there we go AVD one AVDP ounce so what's ADVP stand for 
Come on, help me out, chat. They are beautiful, aren't they, Maria? Series $18.99, $2 bill, ECP. Well, good job, Christopher. Thank you, good sir. I'm going to have to get me one. i got a big bill collection. I need to do some bill reveals, some currency. i got a lot of currency. Got some emergency notes. Pretty lady there. Pretty walking liberty or standing liberty. So, all right. So, so let's see. Got the cover on that one. Got to put one more coin in there. So for the holiday season, and I know people are going to say I'm rushing it. Guess what? Old St. Nick. I really didn't think this looked that good when I ordered it. And it's not a proof. But it has got a real nice mint state field. And I really like it. Hey, David Carlisle. So there's old St. Nick. What's other, some other names for, names for St. Nick now? Santa Claus, Kris Kringle, St. Nicholas, Papa Noel, Papa Jishu. I don't know how they say that on the... Santa Claus the movie, they say a bunch of different names for him. Father Christmas. That's a nice looking coin. I like this one. I like the detail in that beard. The snowflakes in the field. This might be one probably my favorite out of the the ten or twelve we just went through. So I'm a big kid at heart. And then here's the reverse. Check out this reverse. Check out this reverse. I love the reverse too. So one ounce copper, 2019. And so it says GSN. So that's a Golden State Mint, right? That's what your beard looks like, Scott Jarvie. You have to send me a face reveal picture. I have to get on your video and see you. you got any videos that shows it? So it's a little more mirrory, a little more proof-like in the reverse. That's a nice reverse. GSM Golden State Mint, three nines fine copper, one ounce. So we'll put that one in there. So there's old Saint Nick. It's a good looking coin. Good looking coin. Scott Jarvis got a beard like that. He said, "That's too funny." Got ten likes already. Nine people in the house. I just thought I'd do a quick little video here and let you see and I'll see if I can flip some of these so you can see some of these others let me do this just so you can see it better I'll do that is that focusing if I can do it to work I'll just keep it steady there we go so you get there and there's the ones we did the last time if you weren't in Got the Aztec, the NQ Sandian. There's another, there's the Mercury. We just put in that Mercury. There's the Pandas. There's the Lincoln Wheat Scent. The George Washington. There's the Nativity Round. There's the $500 bill. There's the Busted Half. Here's the Trump. Some of the Trump Rounds we're going to get to up top there. There's the Justice Round and stuff. You got the St. Gaudens. You got the Right to Bear Arms. Uh, we've got the uh, Thor. The uh, Walking Liberty. Got a bunch of here's a bunch more Trump rounds. Got the Aztec. You got the Britannia. Got the Prospector round. And it is definitely a matte finish on it. So you got Prospector. Got the Lincoln Scent with the 1909 SVDB. Got the Britannia. The detail's good on these. Got the Aztec round with the Warrior. NQS Indian. The Spartan. Always got to have a Spartan in the house. There's the Trump, the deplorables of their time with a, him added to Mount Rushmore. There's the proudly made in America building the wall. With Trump. There's the 45th president, Donald J. Trump, getting the Trump train. So I'm not trying to be political, but I thought they were neat coins. There's the reverses of them. He 
you can see the wheat scent, the VDV on it. There's the prospector. Some of them turn upside down. There's the, uh, or just gives you an idea, of the Spartan. Yeah, see these are upside down once they get a reverse. There's the Fifth Amendment, right to bear arms, constitutional right to bear arms. There's the let it snow with Frosty. There's the St. Gaudens. I still love that, especially if it's a gold coin. Walking Liberty. We got Thor, the God of Thunder. It's a nice looking coin. Check that out. Look at the clouds up in there. There's one of my favorites. There's the Justice Round. Beautiful lady on it. I ordered an extra one of those the other day. There's another Trump that's drained the swamp. There's Trump with the White House, the 45th. And this is a, a clad coin, but it is a replica. And it's gold-plated, though, on the figure there. But I just threw that in there. I need to probably move that out when I get a chance. There's another NQ, so I need to replace that. There's the Aztec. There's the marker we just put in. So we're getting to the ones we just put in. There's the GR, George Washington. No, that's the Benjamin Franklin. Right? That's the Franklin 100 R bill. There's another one of the copper wheat scents. There's the pandas, the fat chubby pandas. There's the busted half. And busted is right. There's the $500... Who's on there? Who's on the five hundred dollar bill? Christopher W. Right now, I can't hardly tell reading from that. I get the focus. What's that say on there? You guys might be able to read it with me. I don't have my glasses on. McKinley looks like. And there, see this one got scratched up too. Got in from this is the nativity scene. Hey, Mr. Lodak, we just put some copper rounds in the album. We're going through the whole album, taking a click gander at them. Ten people, ten likes. Y'all can match now. There's the eagle. That's the easier way to do it. There's Rudolph. There is the trade dollar. There's the scratched up Christmas coin again. There's the peace dollar, 1921 piece. There's the two dollar, I guess 1899, I think Chris said. Half there. There's the standing liberty quarter. And of course, our last but definitely not least, old St. Nick. We like this one. We got good detail. Nice raised up man there. And for you all that just jumped in, since we got 12 in the house and 11 likes, we picked this up for $9.19. And this is a 50 cent piece, so it is a coin. Half ounce, four nines, fine silver from Australia. So this is gorgeous, gorgeous piece. JM Bullion. And this is the War in the Pacific, or Victory in the Pacific. Thinking about my quarters. 1945. Nice eagle, stars, flag, and J.M. Bullion. We got that from. So there's a little advertisement for him. But this was for $9.19. It was under sales. But anytime you can get four nines fine silver and then a half ounce, which is fractional silver, for $0.69 cents every spot. So it was $9.19. And it's $17.00. It'd be eight fifty for half an ounce a spot, so I paid nine nineteen. So check out J M Bullion for War in the Pacific. If you want a nice fractional coin, that's four nines fine silver. There. And then we have an extra buffalo around here too. It's not gonna feel like to do with that that, but. Uh, so what's everybody think of copper rounds? Not your cup of tea? You like them? You don't like them? What do you think? What's everybody's thoughts on that? So 
So look what I got today. Show you all something else. I did a video if you haven't watched it yet on this. You love copper. Yukon loves copper. Who else loves copper? Who else likes copper? Anybody else like copper rounds? I mean, it's a nice, inexpensive way. You have Canadian silver dollars, Batman, Superman, cool coins. Oh, I bet. I've just I've got the Iron Man and I've got the Deadpool and Captain America and Thor. I think I've got all but maybe one or two. I don't think I still need the Hulk and the Black Panther. <clears throat> but the true value uh, silver coins, Marvel coins I've got. Those DC ones, I'm sure. I've seen the Superman. Uh, I think I've seen the Batman. But I just got a PCGS submission in today in a, the black box for the, uh, oh, they're doing that as a new box or if it's just uh, the uh, West Point Mint box that they're given. But get this, guys. Here's here's one of the coins. So this is the first week. United States coin designer. This is the artist. This is a hand-signed label. It's not a copy of her signature. This has actually been signed by Emily S. Damstra. Damstra. D-A-M-S-T-R-A. So this is the new Warner Pacific. Not Warner Pacific. Uh, River of No Return. W quarter. Let me see if I can get you the see the luster on it. You see the luster there now. And I've probably fingerprinted this slab. I probably need to wipe the the uh, slab off. But I love this label. So this is a first week discovery. And look at the grade on this bad boy. 2019 W PCGS. Look at the luster. MS66 Frank Church. River of No Return National Park. Let's check that out. So I got two 66s. Now me and my buddy went in together on these. So half are mine and half are his. We are selling some of them. So I got 164. Um, three 64 pluses. Three 65s. Six 65 pluses. Hey, Dennis Stewart. Good to see you, my friend. And two 67s. So these were the first week. So this has got the first week designation, first week of discovery, Frank Church River No Return National Park. And this is actually hand-signed by the artist. This labels, I guess they had her line up and they only did this on the first week and the early discovery, which is only three or four coins, or first discovery. And uh, was able to get 15 of them with the Emily S. Damstra. That's the artist that designed the River of No Return coin. So that thing's phenomenal. Phenomenal, to say the least. Get that to focus in a little bit. Let's see. There we go. Focus in on old St. Nick. Let's see if it will focus back in on the coin better now. There we go. A little better. So you can see the luster if I bend it a little bit. But there's so much glare from the light, you kind of got to hit the right edge. But yeah, it's good. Everybody's getting to catch up in the chat. Now here's the thing. I think this is a 65. Let me show you a 65 plus. I can't tell the difference between a 65 plus and a doggone 66. It's like splitting hairs. Look at that. So this is another one. Look, every signature is slightly different. So that's her signature, but it's not a copy. It's actually been hand signed. But look at that. Look at that coin. So that's a 65 plus. I think they're splitting hairs, 65, 65 plus. But I've got, like you said, 15 of them. And we'll probably keep one each ourselves, me and my partner in crime. He hunts them, I grade them, I submit them, and then we split them up when they come back. And we share in the costs 
and then we share the grades and then we uh, sell some of them off to try and recoup some of our costs so if you're interested in one by all means let me know because we've got a box full right there whole entire box of them and they're all first week of discovery they're all the river of no return with the artist sign label and a lot of those first week of discoveries when you look at um, things like uh, the uh, first week of discovery there on eBay they don't have the artist sign label some people, I guess, weren't smart enough to say, yeah, I want that special label. They just did first week and filled out their form and came back that way. And I'm like, why would you not want a hand-signed artist label? I mean, this wasn't like a mimeograph or copy machine that was produced. There's Santa. There goes, let me check the chat out here real quick. But uh, I want to catch up with you guys. Got 11 people in the chat, 13 likes. Thank you so much, guys. Let's give something away. What do you think? Let's do a silver dime. I've got plenty in the safe. But let's do, we've got this many people in. we got to do a, a random uh, number draw, right? So let me write something down. Let me find a pen. I'll find an ink pen. i got one laying around here because I just used it not that long ago. Where's my ink pens at? My daughter might have came in here and swiped it. And keep this, keep this laying here too. If you want to look at that. Take up Santa. All right, so Santa, share your space. There we go. There's Santa. There's the silver round. Still looking for an ink pen. I've got to write the number down for you guys. Hang on just a second. Bear with me. i got a mess out here today. i got a lot of stuff. Well, there it is. I found it. It just took me a second. So I got in from Silver Turtle 65 I want to live stream with him a thank you note. And you guys remember AU Rebel? He gave a fractional silver... Walking Liberty, one-tenth ounce away, and I won it. And that was from AU Rebels Collection, God Rest His Soul. I thought that was pretty neat. He put it in there. He said, congrats, ECP, on your win. Thank you, bro, ST, for Silver Turtle. So that's kind of neat. So here's a mail call. I slid in. Now I don't have to do a mail call for him, right? He sent me not a sticker this time, but I guess you can put this on. Uh, that's not going to stand up there, is it? You can do this. It's reverse, and you peel it off. I get to put it in a windshield or something. I don't know where I'm going to put that at. That's kind of neat. So you can put that on your your min, your car window or mirror. He does a lot of RV and stuff. So let me pick a number and quit rambling. You guys and gals, tear a piece of paper off here. See, I mean, we got 13 in the house. Lucky number 13. So don't guess yet. Okay. I'm writing a number down here. I'll fold it over twice so you can't see through the paper. Okay. So there's the number. Everybody see that? Okay, so wait for the chat. Make sure you're on live chat. And when I don't have an RV, I used to. That's exactly where it would be great to go. So, let me type in this chat. One guess only. Go by the chat. This is for a silver dime. You have to email me. Okay? And we'll have to go by my screen like always. So we've got 12 people in here. We lost somebody on the giveaway. So there we go. Let's 
Still don't see it. So let me go back and look at the numbers. There we go. I see it. I see it. I guess what it was. I had to think about this number. I thought a number, tried to think of a number. I didn't think anybody would guess. And it is number four. So I had to keep waiting until I saw the number pop up. So you guys can guess who it is, right? Mr. Lodak. You got it. You're right there, my friend. The first time I've seen it. Anybody else? Was there anybody else that popped up? Your mods can help me. Yep. Yep, so let me put my email in here. I don't have it in the description. Mr. Lodak, I don't keep addresses, so you'll have to email me, my friend. I got a bunch of stuff I need to put together and mail tomorrow anyways. There we go. Yeah, he got it, didn't he? He nailed that one. I think he sat back there and waited till everybody else guessed. And then he sat there and said, I'm going to jump up and bite him, bite him in the butt. But look at that. Four nines, fine silver. It's actually a 50 cent piece from Australia. It has Queen Elizabeth II on it. 50 cents. And that is, I really like this coin. Victory in the Pacific. It's an actual coin, not around. 1945. It only cost $9.19. So it was actually 69 cents over spot. You know, that's, I probably should have bought about 10 of those. Really? That's a great way to stack silver. Four nines fine. 2016. I think it's a great buy. Just saying. I think it's a good buy. There's J.M. Bullion's advertisement for them. But their copper rounds are scratched up. So yeah, they did a good job on this. I'm, for Next time I order from them, if I do at all, I'm going to request individual flips instead of sending them in these tubes. And I'm going to request that they, they hand-pick through them because since I'm keeping them for these albums, I don't want the ones with marks and scratches on them. You know, I just don't think they should send marked up, scratched up coins out. Even though it's like, uh, hey, Henry. Hey, Dennis. Good to see you. We got everybody in here. We got quite a few people. <coughs> I will tell you this. I think it's kind of neat that I'm starting to see more and more of the same people and there's some extra people, don't get me wrong, that come into my chat. So there's a lot of loyalty as viewers. Yeah, it's a dollar fifty-five. Where is the, the let's see if I can find the receipt here without my address on it? So it was a yeah, here it is. Let me fold this over without my name and address on it, right? So check this out. I'm gonna fold it. My order number. And this actually tells you who some of them came from. But uh, let's see if we can see. Let me move this. So check this out. So the Silvertown Eagle Copper Round, that's the one I like, that big eagle. $1.55. The Merry Christmas Copper Round is a new one they had out. $1.55. There's the half ounce, four nines fine. Silver Victory in the Pacific, nine dollars and nineteen cents. The Rudolph coin, a dollar fifty-five. The Christmas tree, which was scratched up, dollar fifty-five. The trade dollar, dollar fifty-five. The uh, banknote, the two-dollar banknote, fifty dollar fifty-five. They all were. The peace, the Standing Liberty, the Buffalo. I got two of them. I ordered the next one by accident. And then the Mercury. So they're all a buck fifty-five and. The neat part is, look how cheap the shipping was, $3.99. And they gave me a $5 credit because two of my coins were scratched the last time. Well, they turned around and sent me two or three more scratched ones. So from now on, I'm going to call my order in instead of placing it online. 
and I'm going to ask and request that they go into individual flips and they check them with quality controls. I mean, I probably will order from them again. <coughs> now, I got another order. Those are JM Bullion. JM Bullion. So here's the info on JM Bullion. And I'm going to, I'm going, you know, I just ordered it online. There it is, JM Bullion. But I'm going to call the order in. I'm going to request that my copper rounds are in individual flips and that they are inspected for no scratches or smudges or marks on them. You know, and because I do collect them, they're going in this album and they, they really just, there's no sense, even at a buck fifty-five. I'm glad they only do three ninety-nine shipping because a lot of them give you free shipping at $100. I'm real happy with this coin. It was in an individual flip. It's not marked up or scratched anywhere. You have a major lag tonight. I hope it's not me that's lagging. I'm gonna look here. Let me look under here and see on my phone if my stream's lagging bad. I see. I don't. I see about a three or four second lag, which is normal. So there's not. It's not on my part then. Doesn't appear to be. Does not appear to be. So there's Santa. Back to Santa from there. But uh, yeah, I posted that other video. I probably should post the unboxing a little bit, but good now, good, Maria. Just got a milk spotted coin from Bold Precious Metals. I hate milk spots. I'm just telling you right now, man. I can't stand milk spots. Yeah, I think it is. I've got, like I said, I've got my cell phone out for the chat. And then I've got um, my iPad on. And that way I can kind of do both. And it shows it pretty pretty bad there and stuff. But uh, 13 people in the house. 17 likes. I wonder if we can get to 20 likes. Is there three more people in here that haven't mashed that like button by any chance? 12 people in the house. Well, thank you very much, Henry. If you go back and watch the video, we go through the whole album. But we've got like two more sheets to fill. So that's 9 and 18. And I've got Atmex. i got 10 or 12, 15 coins from Atmex on the way. They've already been shipped to me. So we'll see what their copper rounds look like. And see what their quality controls are like, too. Thank you, John Knight. Good to see you. I ain't seen you forever, my friend. It's been a long time. Been a long 18 likes. I only need two more. Old St. Nick there is wanting the two more likes, isn't he? From that. But uh, I can always, I get, let me see. Maybe I can mash the like on my phone. Let's see. Does that do it? I don't know if that's going to count or not. Yep, I was able to do it. Hey, d d Bandits, thank you. Mash that like button if you don't care, my friend. We just hit 20. Super. Mine still says 19, so mine's actually lagging. Isn't that crazy? But, uh, well, good deal. Thank you so much, everybody. Yeah, she's 20 now. She's 20 now. Okay. I'm just trying to think if anybody's got any questions for me. 21? Holy cow, we're eclipsing it real fast. Yeah, it's not much of a show. Just a copper round dance go album feel. This is actually a silver, a silver round. See where it says uh, on this dance go album, it says silver rounds. I don't see. Let me focus in on it. it. Says silver rounds, and you know what? It holds copper rounds just fine. Holds copper rounds just fine without any problem. So we got now 9, 18, 27, 36, 36 coins in there. I think there might be a couple doubles that I need to take out of there. And that clad round with the gold plated walking liberty needs to come out. Oh, somebody took one of the likes away. It says 20 on mine now. Somebody's being a funny guy. We got a lurker. A lurker. Got plenty of mods in here if they start saying much. 
Now she can drink. Let's see what we're reading at here. I didn't miss the whole show. Oh, you still see 21? See, and I see 20. Isn't that crazy? Maybe I'm not showing up my like. Maybe it's not showing my like where I liked it. I bet that's what it is. I bet that's what it is. But uh, we'll go back to the page where we just did the new ones. So people can see the new coins, especially if you're following this along. Here's what we need to do is go right back to old St. Nick. There we go. Is that focusing in okay? On St. Nicholas? Yeah, my wife's got me all ready for Christmas. It's on the radio. She's got two trees up now. She's got uh, music playing. She's got the out. Every, uh, she's got to do some lights, decorations still outside. She's already got outside decorations up. She took all the Thanksgiving stuff down at the end of the day. There it says 22 now. See, mine says 21. So it's not showing my like is what it is because I am on my. I liked it on my phone. But since I'm the guy streaming, it's good to know it's not showing up that like per se. But uh, she has got lights over here. Let me just show you a Christmas tree. Look at this. There's the silver and gold Christmas tree in the house. Got the angel on top. If that's focusing very well. It's not really focusing in, is it? There it goes. There's a focus. So that's Mrs. ECP. Milo's downstairs. Let me see if I can get him up, Mike Wolf. Yeah, she's got her fancy tree upstairs. The color tree, I mean upstairs. The color tree is downstairs. Let's see if we can get Milo up here. Sounds like he's down there barking at a cat or something. He must be feeling better. He only puked twice in the house up this evening. Hey, Milo. Hey, Milo. Mike Wolf wants to see you. And everybody else, come here. Come here, Milo. Let's see Milo. Milo, come here. Come over here. Come over here. I can't see under the table. Come here. Come here. Come over here. Come over here. You got to turn around. So you can see the TV camera. That's it. Good boy. So here's Milo. Say hi to Mike Wolf, Milo. Milo. What's the matter? Are you feeling better now? You got your purple collar on? Look at them ears. He's my buddy. Milo, what you doing? Watch this, Milo. Sit up. Milo. Sit up. Milo. Milo, sit up. Come on. There's Milo sitting up for you. Just for Mike Wolf. Okay, Milo. Give me a paw. Thank you. Milo, lay down. Milo, lay down. Down. There you go. Oh, you want to roll over? I won't make you roll over. There's no room. The briefcase is in the way. You can't roll over. But thank you, Milo, for making an appearance. You want a treat? We'll give you a treat later. Oh, you want a treat? Let me get it now. Let me get you a treat. Is your belly feeling better? Let's get Milo a treat. Let's get Milo a treat, everybody. So I gotta get Milo a treat. Hang in there, Miles. So Milo wants a treat. Milo wants a treat. Okay, Milo, this is one of those. Yummy, yummy turkey treats. Sit up. Now spin. Spin again. Okay, there you go. Tell everybody bye-bye, Miles. Thanks, son. Miles says, yum, yum. Say, yum, yum, Miles. You want another one? What's this kind here? I don't know what this one is. You ready for another one? What is that? These smell terrible. Oh, I wouldn't eat one either. Ugh. Where'd your mom get those stinky things at? That smells terrible. Now, this is Milo's favorite tree. This is the greenie. For Milo. 
You have to come back over here. Wait a second. Let me show you everybody what he's doing here. Okay, I'll spin. Spin again. Okay, lay down. Lay down. Now roll over. Lay down. Roll over. Roll over. Roll. Roll over. Roll. I said I want to roll into the couch, Dad. Come over here where we got some room. Lay down. Lay down. Now roll over. Roll over. Here, Miles, roll. Roll. No, that wasn't a roll. Lay down. Roll over. There you go. Good boy. He has to have room to roll over. Can't roll into the couches. He likes his greenies. That's his favorite. He only gets one a day. Unless my wife didn't tell me. Gone. You inhaled that thing, son. You inhaled that. Thanks, Miles. No more. He's looking for more. Nope, you're good. You're good. You know more treats. You already had upset belly earlier. But thank you guys for seeing the Milo trick show. So we got to see the Milo trick show. So hey everybody, I just want to tell you, thanks for tuning in. He is a smart dog. He is half Boston Terrier, half Dachshund. And uh, if I didn't have an iPad in one hand and a treat in the other, he does a whole lot, does a few more tricks, but it's pretty hard. I need to get a set camera. It shows us both there. Okay, so it says, just looked at the Batman versus Superman. It's a $20 coin. Going to make a little video on it. Oh, cool, Scott. I'll check it out. I'm glad you told me. I'm glad you told me there and stuff. I will definitely, definitely watch it. Is Terry in the house? I can do tricks, Terry. It just depends on what kind of treats you got for me, honey. That's all I'm going to say about that. That's terrible of me. Listen to that. That's awful. That's awful. Still like that coin. It's my favorite purchase for the day. It's just got a P-Mint mark. So I don't know if that's a, a replica of a different coin or if that's the actual mint. It's because it says Australia on it. Yeah, I'm terrible, Terry. You know that. I'm terrible. Some of the dust on, dust on the uh, flip now. I've had it out so much. That's just, that's not on the coin. But four nines, fine silver. It's gorgeous. Can't beat fractional silver at... 69 cents over spot. Where are all the mods at? Who knows? There's there's three or four in there. You got Terry in here, Mike Wolf in here as mods. Scott Jarvie's in here as a mod if he hadn't left yet. Mr. Lodax in there as a mod. So we got quite a few still. 22 likes. Can we get to 25 or 23 likes? Can we get to 25 likes? We're getting close. And we'll get to 25 likes, we'll give another silver dime away. How's that sound? Get to 25 likes. I bet you Terry hadn't hit the like yet. I bet you Terry hadn't. Terry probably forgets. Likey 24 was Terry. So you got to get one more. I'm odd. Oh, you said mod. Odd mod. I got you. You can only like it once. There got to be somebody in here with 24 likes that hadn't mashed out of 15 people. You think all 15s hit it? Probably a lurker in there somewhere. I'd say there's somebody in there. If we hit 25 here in the next minute or two, we'll do another silver dime giveaway. Got to have you challenged to hit something. Got to be something in there. Somebody else will jump in here. Kamash that like. Smash the, 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 the like button, then please. 
We got 24. We only need one more. There's surely somebody in here. Yes, I give away lots of wrenches. I don't mind. I don't mind. I bet you somebody's going to hit that thing here in a second. We'll get a new person come in. They'll get an alert. And boom, we'll be right there at 25. Is that it? Is that 25? Did we get a 25? Did a lurker hit it? Foxy the Pirate, I bet, hit 25. Foxy the Pirate, did you just mash the like button? There we go. We can do another silver dime. We have to thank Foxy. I bet you Foxy's the one that mashed it. Thanks, thank you, Henry. I appreciate it. Hey, I, 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 one of those guys contacted me by email, and I sent him uh, two nuggets. I just gave him a good deal too. I sold it to him uh, at spot, or a little below spot, actually. I think because I sent him more than what he asked for. Twenty-seven now, cause smash. Okay, let's do another silver dime giveaway. I'm going to have to get a number here. So everybody hang in there. Don't go nowhere. we got 16 people in the house. So let me think of a range here. So let me think of the number. All right, I got the number here. I'm going to fold it up tight. I'll put it right here on Santa's nose. Okay, so put that right on Santa Claus's nose. Poor Santa. Poor Santa. We're disrespecting Saint Nick. Here we go. So uh, pick a number. Wait for the chat now. Make sure you're on live chat. Seventeen in the house. Eighteen in the house. One guess only. Make sure you're on live chat now. I think I remember my number, but I'll have to check it. We'll see. I know I got it in the range at least. Is everybody ready? What's Tangy? I don't know what's Tangy. Not sure what you're saying. We'll do this giveaway, then we'll check to see what he's talking about, Tangy. What's the range? What gives you the range? I see it. I think I see it early. All right. Mods help. We have to go by my screen. So let's open it up here. I won't even take it off the screen. 23. I think the first person showing on my screen guessed it. I'm going to show you right after I did it. I've got on my screen, right after I said go, I got Dennis Stewart. And Terry right with 21 behind him, 26, and then Yukon's got 23. Yep, so I got Dennis Stewart. Yep, and Yukon's right behind them. Congratulations. So let me put in my email address again there. So congratulations, Dennis. Is that your first time you've ever won, Dennis? On my screen? And I'll get you the new sticker, too. I'll get you a new sticker, and I'll put my email address in here. Send me an email. If you don't send it out to me tonight, I may not get it out till a uh, few days or a week because I'm going to send stuff out in the morning. So it would be a good idea if you want something to send me that email tonight when you get off the stream. Look at Mike Wolf. My God, Mike, you're good. Super moderators. I should be able to go in there and find my moderators and send them all a Christmas card and a little something, something. John Knight, just send me an email, son. I'll get you a sticker. Send me an email. I can get you the new sticker. 
Yeah, you know, yeah. He, Mike's Mike's been with me since the beginning, and he's phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah, he's phenomenal to say the least. And we've got a great community here, and I know you guys already all know that, but we really have a great community and great people, and uh, we're always so giving, and uh, everybody tries to help each other out, and informative and stuff. But it's always good people, definitely, definitely good, good people. But that was a fun little live stream. We got 16 in the house already. So I'm going to show you this real quick for anybody that came in. You watch one of my videos I just posted. Here's something I just got in. These are the new... Oh, let me back up on the screen. Emily S. Damstra, the artist for the River of No Return W Quarters. These are the first week. So first week, 2019, Frank Church... River of No Return National Parks. First week of discovery. There's that beautiful W quarter. Lustrous and MS-66. It's a $200 quarter, guys and gals. It's a $200 quarter. Got two of them. So me and my partner, he gets one and I get one. So my partner in crime, he does the, the hunting. He finds them. I do the conservation if they need them. I do the grading. I do the submission, and then we split split the coins. We each do our part. But this is actually not a sticker. That is a hand-signed label. That's actually her signature. If you look at another one, look at the difference between these two. Watch this. Can you all see the difference? Let me lay them down here. So look here. Signatures are different. Can you see the difference? She hand signed all of these, but so every single label is a unique signature on its own. A unique signature on its own. So you think of that. Now that's pretty wild when you think of a coin like that one, and you look at that signature right beside it is a different signature. See how the D is different? The S is different. She hand signed every single one of those. So I got 15 of these, and they were individually signed. I just think it's phenomenal. I got out of these, we got 164, 364 pluses, 365s, 667s, 665 pluses which are still a you know, pretty expensive coin. Remember the first week of Discovery and Artist Sign Label and two MS-66s. So yeah, they're pretty sweet. But if you want one, I'll make you a good deal. Half of them are mine, half of them is my partner's. We sell a few of them to pay for our submission and stuff because that's not cheap in our shipping and all that good stuff. But uh, anyways... Thought I'd just share that with you. I think it's kind of unique. If you all ever get any questions about submissions, whether it's PCGS or NGC or Annex, I use all three. Uh, let me know. I'd be more than glad to help you out. You know, when you look at Annex, there's no cost for submissions. Um, <coughs> they're, actually, they're actually owned by, like, Coin World or the ANA, the American Newsmatic Association, that does Coin Week and Coin World and all that stuff. And then uh, NGC, which is out of Florida, I think they charge 25 bucks a year. And then to, to have submission privileges. And then PCGS, I think it's $69 a year. 69 bucks a year, which they're the top one. Hey, no worries, Scott. We're getting ready to get off here right now. I've already been on longer than what I expected. I just had so many people on here, I thought we'd... Say hello to everybody. I can't believe we're up to, what, 28 likes now? That's crazy. I do not have any right now, Henry, but I will. But I can make you a pretty good deal on the uh, 164 I've got if you want to contact me. I don't know how much you want to spend, but a 64 PCGS slabbed and graded River of No Return 
would be a nice coin to have with MAS Damster. I mean, if you're going to buy a coin, you know, first to spend twenty dollars for a raw one. Heck, you get a first week of discovery in a '64 man would be crazy. That's just my thought. You know, I've only got one '64, which still all these are high grades. I, I went through the coins in the raw first before I picked out the best ones to send in. So I sent them in with the hopes that they'd be 64s and hires. I was hoping for a 67 or two, but I got a 66. But uh, it's kind of funny, as I knew my two, two highest graded coins that I graded, I put it number seven and number eight intentionally as I did the submission, because you number your submissions. And I said, I'm going to see how good I am at grading. Because these are the two best coins that we got in a bunch. Looking at them under the loop and looking at them without the loop and the luster and the strike and everything that you're trying to look for and grade on. And it was number seven and number eight were the two highest. And would you believe number seven and number eight were the MS 66s, the two highest grades? Now, I was hoping for 67 on them, and I probably with NGC and Annex probably would have gotten it. But PCGS is just a little daggone tougher on it. Hey, thank you, Dennis. Glad you sent that email. And good night, Scott. You're still in here. But uh, anyways, guys, I want to thank you for your time. I know that uh, everybody's got things they want to get done and doing. I know it's getting late here. It's already what? I don't know what time it is. I'm on Eastern time and got both apps up on my phone so I can't see the clock on it. We never wear watches anymore. Hey, thank you, Mike Wolf. And Milo, Mike Wolf said goodbye. He went back downstairs with Mrs. ECP. Hey, night, you too, Terry. Much love all the way around. ANA's in Colorado. PCGS is in California. NGC's in Florida. So that gives you an idea. So Annex is in uh, Colorado. I think that is the ANA in Chicago. They might be in Colorado too, but I know that they actually own Annex. So they're a good grading agency too. People like think it's a a tier below, but I think it's probably more marketing than anything. When it comes to mint state coins, I really can't see a big difference besides some of them are just harder to give the grades out for you. But I think uh, a lot of times it's a perception. That's my opinion. I think a lot of it's marketing, a lot of it's perception. They spend the money to make you look and think like that stuff too. But hey guys, uh, thanks for all your time. I'm going to take a run here. Tell everybody from ECP one last look at the four nines fine half ounce victory in the Pacific copper round or not copper round silver coin. It's a 50 cent piece with Queen Elizabeth. And you look at this, it is four nines fine half ounce, and it was only for nine dollars and 19 cents. I got it for. 69 cents over spot, four nines, half ounce, fractional silver coin. So ECP, with a big shout out to all of you for being such great community members and friends of mine. And thanks for tuning in and watching ECP. ECP, over and out. I'm going to answer your question here real quick, Maria. I won a first W Mint Mark Core 2019 Western first release, great release. MS65, is it valuable? It should be. It should be worth some money. The best way to get on eBay and take a look. Thank you, John Knight. But put that in the eBay description and look at sold listing and see what it was selling for. Give you an idea about what the value. It's NGC. Yep. So do type in NGC and all that, and that'll give you a value of it. It should be worth 30, 40 bucks or more. So that's my guess. It depends on what they've been going for. But hey, everybody, if you need a slab graded W quarter, any of the five series, I've got them. ECP, thanks everybody. I've got them in PCGS, NGC, and Annex. I've got probably close to 100. And I got some raw ones too. ECP, thanks to everybody. Over and out. Take care. Have a great evening.